Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrapping Scotland. Today I'm going to do a little video on power packs. Uh, these specific power packs come from laptops. Uh, you do get power packs and other electronics, so look out for them uh, because they do contain some goodies. And we're going to open these up and we're going to see what's inside. So these are all fairly different or slightly different depending on your outlook. They're all slightly different. Uh, some of them are from the same manufacturer, so these two here, for instance, are both from Dell laptops. Uh, but the, the key thing here is they are all AC adapters. Now, I just posted a video very recently about me doing AC adapter plugs. So I wanted to do these as well, compare, and see really what's inside these compared to what's inside the plugs. Inside the plugs, the key thing we get really is transformers and you do sometimes get little boards as well with little copper toroids on them uh, and that is much more what I'm expecting from these little boards that have little uh, USB connectors on them they'll maybe have a couple of small capacitors on them and a couple of little copper toroids but again there's only one way to see if that's going to be the case and that's to get them open to get them open we bash along this line a little bit where it's joined together now you can either stick it on a piece of metal as such sorry up a bit you can either stick it on a piece of metal there so this is on my vice and just smash it with a hammer or you can just leave it on the table and you can just get a screwdriver and strike the partition Shouldn't need a lot, you should just really have to do one side and then you can break it open. So once we do that, we can see inside. This is just the outside plastic waste. And then we've got our little board, our little power board here. So a couple of things that you always get with these power boards, as I say, you always get a little transformer, and this is a little transformer here, as you can see. But you also get uh, little transistors and heat sinks, okay? I did mention as well that you will get some little capacitors, and there's some really, really small capacitors there. There's a little capacitor here, the little blue M&M &M capacitor. Uh, but as I say, these little heat sinks, these little pieces of metal, they are aluminium, and they are act as a cooler for the transistor, which sits just inside so it's just sitting here the transistor okay there's another one over here okay these little things they get called MOSFETs but effectively they are a transistor okay we've obviously got the little aluminium capacitor there that's worthless to us and we've got our little connection here a little power connection and normally these little pieces in here are brass uh, but do check them because I have taken them off and sometimes they are magnetic which I didn't expect because I didn't think most of them were actually brass uh, sometimes as well you do open these up and instead of this being aluminium the little heat sink you sometimes do get copper ones so again worth having a look let's get into the second one slightly more difficult to get into that one okay let's try and get this board out I'm 
not yet. Realised why it was slightly more difficult because it looks like actually this one was screwed in. Okay, and actually I'm not going to do a lot of this board, I'm just going to stick it in my other boards for recovery later because uh, as you can see, this one doesn't actually seem to be uh, an AC adapter at all. Okay, this is looks like it's some sort of um, device for putting in your socket, so your USB and there's another type of socket here, which I'm not quite sure what kind of USB that is okay, but definitely not an AC adapter Okay, this one, as you can see, has a nice little copper reel here. We've also got our transformer here, and we've got another one here. Okay, so a couple on that one. Again, you've got your little aluminium heat sink, but that's it, not too much on this one in terms of heat sinks. There's a little fuse here as well. This one that's encased in this black kind of rubber, it's a little fuse. And then again you've got your little uh, capacitors and there's a little diode on the end of this one as well. Okay, for a little blinky light. Okay, move on to the Dell one. That just came off my vice. That's not great. I'll check that later. What I really do need is like a quarter inch steel plate or something that I can put everything on something I will try and pick up from the scrapyard next time I'm there this one's proving a little bit more difficult to get into Wow. Well, that one's properly glued together. These are probably the most common ones I see. As you can see, it's kind of wrapped in this aluminium. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies for the sniffles, as it's quite cold outside in the shed today. Okay, so, as I say, it's wrapped in aluminium. Okay, one piece of aluminium there. Another piece here. Clean that up and take the yellow tape off it. Just a bit of plastic, this piece. And then again, we have our components 
pretty much again similar to the last stuff you do get a lot of this white rubber stuff it's quite easy to get off to be honest but it's just a bit of a pain so you take it off quite easy so we've got a little copper toroid here we've got another toroid here and we've got a transformer here okay then you've got your aluminium heatsink on this side as well and again a couple of MOSFETs uh, attached to these heat sinks and this one's got a little diode as well I do believe you can do some kind of silver recovery from diodes but not something I've tried myself okay we're on our penultimate one nice small one this one These are usually easier than this to get apart, I have to say. Maybe it's because I've been sitting in the cold or something, I don't know. Okay, so. Interesting little piece of aluminium on the top of that. It's encased in plastic. Take that off. Stick that with the rest. And then we'll separate it from the plastic. There's our board this time. So again, pretty much similar to a couple of the other ones. Probably more similar to this one. But we've got, we do have a little copper toroid here. Uh, and we have a transformer here. And that looks about it in terms of copper. Again, a couple of little capacitors. Uh, not really a lot, not really a lot on that one. And then our final one's our big one. Hopefully this one's easy enough to get apart. size on this one as well all right so here's our board here a couple of screws in this one let's get them out They are magnetic screws, so they're not made of copper or brass. Okay, take the top heatsink off. Again, got all this yellow crappy tape around it. Absolutely cannot stand this yellow tape. Does my head in. Okay, on the board itself. Again, capacitor here. A tiny little copper toroid here, as you can see. We've got one here. Uh, it's actually semi-insulated, some of the wire on it. We've got a copper toroid here. We've got our aluminium heat sinks on the edges here. And as you can see, on the bottom here, we also have a copper plate. So it's not a huge piece of copper, but it is most certainly copper. This one with our boards. How much did that little bit of copper we had on? Uh, 
8.1 grams, that little bit of copper. Which is 0.3 of an ounce. So, as I said, not a big bit of copper. But again, you know, some people go into these things and they don't expect to get any copper. But actually, sometimes you get a copper heat sink. And other times, you actually get your copper toroid. So, you know, from all the stuff here, there is a little bit of copper to be had from these power boards. Uh, and obviously some aluminium heat sinks there as well. Along with the other little components that I don't know if you collect, if you collate, if you do anything with them, or if you just leave them on the board and sell them like it's a board sort for uh, with the boards. So a couple of different options there. All right, guys, nice quick video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, like I say, a little bit of a comparison from the uh, AC adapter plugs to the actual uh, AC adapter power packs that come with uh, laptop cables. So, uh, nice little comparison, as I say. A little bit of copper, a little bit of aluminium, uh, some small transformers and copper toroids. So, there is a little bit of value there, guys, in worth scrapping. Uh, hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, guys. You know what to do. Smash that like button. It really helps the video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell for notification. And we'll see you next time when you tune into Scrapping Scotland. Bye for now. Thank you.